It's normally never this bad out here. Uh, just kind of in a kind of a moment of flux. Moment, moment of flux. Uh, it's the '54 Harley, uh, 45 flathead. Obviously, a project that I'm working on at the moment. I have a few nails as well. Tons of neat stuff. Also, and then currently finishing a truggy. to the full tube front and rear rear mounted radiator um, 4x4 automatic very short wheelbase about 115 inches I think battery was six volt giant these days you don't need all that so this, is really bad. And then, uh, this guy should be done a couple days okay, so today realized the 1954 Harley exhaust that needs to run right there so, uh, Hands. Oh, you bitch. All right, so this guy has to go in here like that. But of course, it's hitting the brake and the training fill because the drive chain that I thought was better because it was the shorter of the two. Clearly this one's a little more, but it's longer. That one's shorter and older. But it has the tranny all the way to the front for that one to fit. So now I gotta put this one on. Of course, I don't wanna take that off to get around it. And take that off and that off. Because this has gotta come off and this has gotta come off usually. But of course. Somebody got smart and put a master link on here. So, now I have to take the master link off like I did with this guy. So I don't have to take this off the footboard to get the new chain on to move the tranny back far enough to be able to get the exhaust in on the other side. And then once the exhaust is on, I can put the other floorboard back on um, and then wire it for me. Yeah. Well, that fucking blows. Um, looks like this chain is going to be too long. Looks like I gotta tighten it up. But it looks like it's going to be at the end of its travel, so I'm going to have to cut some links out of it or something. This is what you get working on old shit. Alright. Exhaust is on. Forward's back on. Shorten the drive chain nice and tight. Well, too tight, maybe. Right, that sucks. Just a little bit more to go. Going to highway to the danger zone. Alright, that's probably a wobble of shit, but whatever. I just got the Miata.
shaky. I gotta get a better mount. Ah, oh, this sucks. So of course I was gonna show the car, and it fucking rained the whole way home. Um, but I mean, look at this. No, no cracks. No missing pieces. The fucking radio already. Ugh. The tear. The leather's good. Ugh. I mean, dude, it's hot. I'm just, uh, thank you guys. Is it big? Here we are. Got the old school Mazda logo. Yeah. And the top. Yes. Alright, so. Idle on a Miata. All jacked up constantly. Fluctuating from like two grand to uh, <clears throat> down to about 650 sometimes. So I took this apart. The intake manifold clearly needs to be cleaned. All of the injectors. On about for a million car, horsepower you know? here. Like, I don't like riding those. At least five for that one. Eight.